The nervous system includes the brain and nerves in the human body. Its main function is to monitor the body's processes, whether they're voluntary or involuntary. The nervous system is commonly divided in two, the central nervous system, or CNS, and the peripheral nervous system, or PNS. Central nervous system. The four parts of the brain constitute the central nervous system. The cerebrum, which is responsible for memory, cognitive thought, and learning. The cerebellum, responsible for balance, motor coordination, muscle tone, and fine movement. The brainstem, which is responsible for the basic living functions, breathing, cardiovascular contractions, consciousness, and so on. And the spinal cord, which bridges the central and peripheral nervous systems. The peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is divided into two parts. The somatic nervous system, which is also known as the voluntary nervous system, governs voluntary motor actions such as getting up, walking, running, and picking up objects. And the autonomous nervous system, also known as the involuntary nervous system, controls involuntary actions, for example, causing an elevated heart rate during stress and sweating. The autonomous nervous system is also divided into two subsystems, the sympathetic system, which is active during stressful situations, and the parasympathetic system, which is active normally. The two subsystems always work in conjunction according to the body's needs. Layers of Cerebral Protection The head houses several mechanisms that protect the brain. A hat or a helmet afford thermal and physical protection. Hair affords thermal protection. The scalp, filled with capillaries which supply the hair with nutrients, wraps the skull in order to regulate temperature and stop foreign objects from entering. The skull, a strong, bony structure that physically protects the brain from shocks and jolts. The three cerebral membranes, dura mater, arachnoid mater, and pia mater. Levels of Consciousness The nervous system is responsible for the level of consciousness a person might be in. According to the AVPU scheme, there are four such levels. A is for alert, responds to external stimuli. V is for verbal, foggy and responds to vocal stimuli, for example, calling their name. P is for pain, foggy and responds only to physical stimuli, for example, pinching the trapezoids. And finally, U for unresponsive, unconscious and unresponsive to external stimuli.